Hey everybody, it's Dusty from Dusty Beards again. It's been a long week. I've owed you guys some videos, so now we're going to do one. Today we're going to talk about masks. Yes, I know that sounds crazy, but we need to talk about what you need to do with your beard and what you need to do to wear a mask if you have a beard. I know. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so a lot of states are mandating that we have to wear a mask when we're out in public, uh, when we go to bars, restaurants, wherever. Um, we need to talk about what you need to do with your beard. The answer is nothing. You don't have to do anything with your beard any differently than you do every day to wear a mask to protect others from, from any type of virus, particularly COVID, since that's the reason we have to wear one now. The reason I say that is the mask is not to prevent you from getting it, it's to prevent you from spreading it. So all it is is an extra barrier over your nose and your mouth. How many people have a beard growing above their nose, covering their nose? Nobody, it's not happening. So as long as you have one that will cover here and cover your mouth, you're good. Now what I do every day is I wear a gator. So all I have to do is pull it up over my beard and it covers straight across all the way around I'm not spitting anywhere. I'm not coughing, sneezing, whatever. It's not happening. Why do we recommend that we trim our beards? I don't know. I mean, early on with this thing, there were a lot of things put out that we had to trim our beards off, shave it off, shave it clean, and we were good to go. The only thing I found so far is that medical professionals were, were asked to clean shave every day to make a good seal with the N95s. That was it. But then they took it and ran with it and threw it out that everybody in the beard community had to wear a a beard with with their beard uh, wear their beard trimmed with a mask. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Now, do I like wearing a mask? No, I don't think anybody does. Uh, my 32 years on this planet, I've never had to wear one. Never had a reason to. It's new. Um, does it have its purpose? Yes. Is it a complete failsafe? I don't believe so. That's just my personal opinion. But no, you don't have to take your your beard off of your face to put a mask on. That's not that it's it's not a, a reason to. There's not a single proven reason why you have to shave your beard off to wear a mask. There are there are masks out there that will cover your mouth and your nose to keep you from from spitting everywhere, and and that's simple enough. So I say all that to say this: I've had a beard for going on six years, some sort of facial hair for six years now. Uh, before then, I used to shave every day, if not every day, every other, every two or three days. But since I've had a beard, I've not had the flu. I've barely had the common cold. So why would I need to shave it off now? Especially when they say, oh, you have to put a mask on. You do not. And, and you can read any article you want to find. Right out of the gate, they said, oh, we got to shave our beards off. And there was a, a picture made with all these links of beards and it was explaining how to shave your beard down to a certain length so that your mask was effective. That's not true. Now, CDC denies having any say in trimming your beard or shaving it off. Uh, there were a lot of things that came out very early on otherwise that had their name all over it. Um, but you do not have to shave your beard off. You don't. Just get something that's gonna cover your mouth, cover your nose, and you're good to go. The best thing to do is something cloth that will catch it, that, that your your spit or your sneeze won't go through, um, that it'll catch it. Now, I know that sounds gross. Wash it every day, make sure it's clean. Don't put the same nasty mask on that you wore yesterday. Make sure you clean it, make sure you wash it. You, you'll be fine. So I had some people in my life that recommended this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave, please leave them in the comments. Leave me a like. Please subscribe if you have not already. I hope everybody stays safe out there, stay healthy. And until next time, I'll see you guys around.